Every strand of DNA is made up of pairs of molecules called nucleotides, strung together in a long chain called a double helix. Each pair of nucleotides is held together by its complementary bases. Adenine sticks to thymine, and guanine sticks to cytosine. To sequence a segment of DNA is to figure out the exact order of these base pairs in the DNA chain. The first step in DNA sequencing is the separation of the double helix dividing the molecule into two long strands. The single strands are then put into four buffer solutions that contain free nucleotides and an enzyme to help the nucleotides attach to the strands and rebuild the double helix. However, each of the four buffer solutions also contains a dideoxyribonucleotide, which stops the chain from being rebuilt any further. The result is a collection of DNA strands, each as long as it was allowed to grow until randomly encountering a dideoxyribonucleotide. For example, in the solution with the adenine dideoxyribonucleotide, strands have been built to every possible length that ends with an adenine. The other three solutions have done the same for cytosine, guanine, and thymine. When the solutions are loaded into an electrophoresis gel, the rebuilt chains arrange themselves by length. Because we know which base ends in each of the solutions, we can read the gel, base by base, from shortest to longest. This tells us the order of bases in the chain, the DNA sequence. This experiment begins with four test tubes that contain the DNA segments we want to sequence, already denatured into single strands. Add to this the reaction buffer which includes a number of necessary components. First, it contains all four free-floating nucleotides, adenine, cytosine, guanine, and thymine, which will attach to the single strands to reform the DNA. Also included are DNA polymerase, an enzyme that helps nucleotides attach to the strand, and a primer, which is a short strand of nucleotides already in the right order that will attach to the strand and get the process started. Most importantly, each of the four buffers contains one type of free-floating dideoxyribonucleotide. When one of these attaches to the chain, it will prevent it from growing any longer. Once all the components are combined, put them in a thermal cycler to undergo PCR. Repeated cycles of heating and cooling will help build and amplify the new various lengths of DNA. When they're ready, add five microliters of gel loading solution. To settle the contents to the bottom of each tube, run them in a microcentrifuge. Agarose gel electrophoresis is a common method of isolating regions of DNA. A gel tray is prepared, with DNA samples placed in wells along one side. DNA molecules have a strong negative charge, so if an electric field is applied to the tray, they'll move toward the positive electrode. Agarose gels have microscopic pores, which act as a filter when molecules attempt to move through them. Smaller molecules will move through the gel more quickly than larger molecules. Those closest to the positive electrode are the smallest, and those farthest away are the largest. To prepare a vertical electrophoresis gel, first, carefully clean the plates with alcohol. Use petroleum jelly to seal spacers between the two plates. Clamp the plates together and tape the bottom edge to prevent leaking. Elevate the open end of the plates and pour agarose gel solution between them. Insert the comb into the top of the gel and allow it to set. When the gel is ready, remove the clamps and tape and place it in the electrophoresis tower. Fill the reservoirs at the top and bottom with buffer and load the wells. Connect the power source and run the electrophoresis for a time specified by your instructor. The time required will vary depending on the voltage used, but it should be several hours. Because the amount of DNA at each position in the sequence is very small, the loading solution usually contains a radioactive nucleotide that will mark the positions of the bands when placed against X-ray film. This makes it possible to read, from bottom to top, the sequence of nucleotides in the segment of DNA.